Grab your Bibles, 1 uh, Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30 through 31. But of him you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God, and righteousness, and sanctification, and redemption, that as it is written, he who glories, let him glory in the Lord. You, if you're a born-again child of God, are in Christ Jesus. Amen. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. And uh, once again, we're talking about being in him. And when we understand what that brings when I know that I am in him that everything that he did at Calvary he did it for me and now it's mine it's the gospel of grace that we talked about yesterday he it's the gospel of the of the favor of God the unmerited undeserved favor of God it's that gospel it's the good news of the favor of God that's for me, right? And because I'm in him, all of that is available to me. Here is grace, and now how do I receive from grace? I operate, I get my faith in operation. Well, how do I get my faith operating? Faith comes from hearing, hearing by the word of God. So I meditate on the word, meditate on the word, and, and all of a sudden faith becomes active, and guess what? The Bible says, and whatever is born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that overcomes the world, our faith. So our faith causes that victory to happen. Why? Because it's active, and it's reaching and taking what uh, grace is made available to us. Hallelujah. That's the gospel of grace. Yesterday we talked about Jesus said to them, okay, now that you got kind of getting to understand the gospel of grace, who do men say that I am? And they said, some say John the Baptist, some say Elijah, some say Jeremiah. He said, but who do you say that I am? That's a word for you today. Who do you say that Jesus, the son of man is? Well, we look at Simon Peter and he says, you are the Christ, the Christ, the son of the living God. Jesus, you are the Christ. Now again, his name is Jesus Christ, but it's not, does not mean Jesus Christ being his, his um, a part of his name. No, it means Jesus, the anointed one. Anointed to do what? Anointed to to preach the gospel of poor, set at liberty those who are in captivity, heal the brokenhearted, and so forth. You can read that in, in both um, Isaiah chapter 61 and in Luke chapter 4. It talks about this. Jesus said, um, the, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because he's anointed me. That's what Christ means, anointed one. He's the anointed one. He preaches the gospel of the poor, set at liberty those who are in captivity, heals the brokenhearted, makes the lame to... Uh, walk in the blind to see. Amen. That's who he is. And guess what? You are in him. <laughs> you are in him. He says, the things that I do, you shall do also. This is in John chapter 14. The things that I do, you shall do also, and greater work shall you do, because I go to be with the Father. Why? Because you are in him, and he is the Christ who preaches the gospel of the poor and set at liberty those who are in captivity and heal the broken heart and all the things that I've been talking about. You are, in, you are his hands. You are his feet. We're to put on Christ. We're to put on Christ. Did you get that? Put on Christ. Put on the anointing. We have the mind of Christ. We have the mind of the anointing. We are the body of Christ. We are the body of the anointing. We are the bride of Christ. We are the bride of the anointing. And then if you look at 1 John chapter um, 2 verse 20, it says, you have an anointing from the Holy One and you know all things. Well, of course we do because he was, he gave us the wisdom of God. Remember we read that in our, in our reference scripture. He became for us the wisdom of God, redemption, grace, uh, uh, righteousness, and uh, uh, sanctification. He did all that for us. And because we are in him, all of that becomes available to us. Remember the Great Commission, he says, all power and authority has been given on me in heaven and earth. Now you go and in my name do the same things I did and make disciples of people of the uh, gospel of grace. Amen. I get excited about this stuff. I really do. Why? Because this is for you and I today. This is you and I can walk in this every day. But again, Satan is trying to steal that from you. If you don't see yourself as the righteousness of God, if you don't see yourself that, that God's grace is available to you, if you don't see that you can walk in peace and in joy, if you don't see that you can walk in prosperity because he's already made that all available to you, then you'll never do it. 
But we need to understand that it's available to us. And because it's available to us, I'm going to use my faith to receive from grace and walk in it. All right, so we'll pick this up again tomorrow. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.